We criticised this at the time when the RBA made that last rate rise. A lot of folks thought that wasn't necessary, that the RBA jumped the gun on that. Does uh, this latest data prove that correct? Probably. I mean, I was one of them, so I, yeah. I do want to say that. I, I and, agreed and, with you too. Yeah, and at the same time, I know there are people that are very clearly pointing out the opposite, and I get their, their point of view. But yes, if you look, this, this is the quarter that had that additional rate rise in, and it was on, at the time, the fact that we saw the September initial read of inflation being above expectations of about 5.4. That got downgraded to 5.1 in the next quarter, and we now see ourselves even further down, and it showed that in the GDP as well. The GDP in, uh, uh, number for inflation was 4.1 year-on-year. It was the lowest it's been since 2021. So I would agree that maybe they have. I mean, they, they need to do it. We know that. It is also, the numbers would argue that they will point it out, that they're actually doing the right thing. Economic slowdown is on. It's not cratering, which is probably a good thing. But as I said, the word is anemic, and on a per capita basis, we're in recession. So mm. that needs to be taken and addressed going forward. Okay. That's why some people are saying three rate, uh, rate cuts this year. I don't. But in saying that, there is no doubt the RBA is going to have to start really looking at growth yeah. because growth now is becoming a headache. It looks like there's, I mean, it, it, you've been fairly consistent on this too, um, that there will at least be some rate cuts this year. When do you think the first one will come into play now, Evan? If, if they go to this year, it will be in September, unfortunately. Right. I know that's a long way away, but they are going to do what they always do, which is that we need data, right? We're already hearing yeah. them talk about data. So they will need at least half a year of this calendar year's data before they make that decision. So September's the earliest. More likely, it'll probably be actually October, November, December, mm. somewhere the around yeah. then. So that, yeah. yeah. So, sorry, Evan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess the da people will say the danger is if there's going to be three rate cuts, you know, does that just just put 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 a fire under the housing market again yeah, and it goes and we've off got again? To, we've got to We've also got to talk about the statutory tax cuts, right? So from July yeah. 1, you will be getting some form of stimulus in your back pocket. Now, as I said with what we saw with the numbers, is that we're starting to save. So it's more likely to sit in your back pocket rather than actually going to the economy. But in mm. saying that, that is probably also it's almost almost the equivalent of a 0.25% rate cut, right? So that, that also needs to be taken into consideration. The RBA won't say that publicly because that's obviously some form of political interference. Yeah. But that is certainly what they're thinking as well, is that they know they have that additional increase from the fiscal side rather than from the monetary policy side. OK, yep. Uh, as the Treasurer warned yesterday, there are still some bumpy roads ahead. Uh, Evan, good to chat as always. We'll talk to you soon.